It's pretty tough. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a good feeling, but it was definitely emotional. I try to keep it together. What does this mean to you and, and, and the future of the message that you've over, been able to overcome so far? No, I think uh, I think it's just starting. Uh, it's uh, so much uh, more that needs to be done, and uh, you know, uh, it's just encouraging to see you know more and more people are talking about it, and uh, it's, uh, there's a lot more work to be done. Uh, I think uh, you know it's fine to talk about it and all, but the uh, changes needs to be made. You said at the end of the speech you know, that's changed the year. That doesn't mean it's a week. What kind of a relief is that? What does it feel like to say that publicly? No, I mean, uh, I mean it's how I feel now. But uh, that, that kind of the the message there is uh, a lot of people, or majority of people, are are ashamed and uh, are ashamed of their. F- Loss, if you want to say it that way, and uh, you know, in uh, in the end of the day, I think that uh, everyone deals with something. Uh, it's just uh, you know, different uh, issues gets put in different pockets uh, and different uh, sections, and and uh, you know what, uh, there's a lot of people that has some type of mental issues that has a lot of success, and I think there's a tremendous amount of people that just it's not out front and and open about it that are extremely successful. Uh, so, uh, I mean, uh, it's a lot of change that needs to be made uh, and, uh, in the end of the day. Um, Robin, you mastered in is about perseverance. Where does your greatest source of perseverance come from? I mean, it's been, it's been a long journey since, uh, uh, since I left Buffalo there and uh, uh, went to rehab and kind of started taking steps to change my life. And... Uh, it's not been easy, so I guess like the perseverance is that it's not giving up and uh, just uh, you know trust the process, trust the uh, trust all the things that, that I know I need to do with the support system that I've had from my wife to everyone everyone else around me. But uh, there's definitely been still going to be ups and downs. Is I think everyone has ups and downs. Uh, and the problem before with me uh, with my issues was my downs were very low and pretty long, and the same with my ups. Uh, uh, same thing, but now I'm, uh, you know, uh, di- diagnosed and medicated, and uh, you know, and I've learned a tremendous amount on how to uh, deal deal with my issues, and I still have a lot to learn. But uh, I don't. It's inc- incredibly manageable, and uh, I think uh, that's why a lot of people need to take that first step, right? Does this award mean more to you than maybe anything you won? No, I mean, it represents so much. Uh, it represents so much personally to uh, me, my wife, my family. But, uh, you know, uh, things that I've had such an uh, incredible outpour of uh, support, and there's so many people that's uh, tr- contacted me, tried to contact me, that I still haven't been able to get to yet. But uh, um, they just, you know, are scared or to take that first step, scared of doing the doing the things that's uh, necessary to kind of turn their lives around and uh, uh, that's incredibly rewarding you know I uh, had a had a dinner with the, all the doctors from the program the other day and you know they obviously don't tell me names or anything but you know they, they said it's a lot of a lot of people that's uh, reached out to them and start getting help because of you know me being outspoken and uh, if that was just being one person you know it'd be, be worth it but uh, uh, we as players in this league, GMs, uh, wh- whoever it might be, there there needs to be some change to kind of to o- to open it up because why it's been successful, so successful for me this year is because I was open with it. I think the program for the first time was able to work together with the team. So it's the program and the team together has been able to uh, to to be on the same page uh, and uh, do the right things and. It's been a good collaboration. Problem is, majority of people or all people, it's not going to come out and and be open about it to the team. So the team part is going to be not involved because as soon as uh, that comes to light, uh, it's going to affect your financial future. It's going to affect the negotiations, contract, or whatever it might be because. Uh, 
it's going to turn into a risk. A lot of your teammates in Buffalo have told me they didn't even know anything yeah. was wrong. Have they reached out to you a lot? I've been, it's been great uh, from, from everyone there. I've uh, missed everyone, uh, all the teammates in Buffalo, incredible people. But I mean, that's the... Uh, that's the uh, one of the big things when it comes to both mental illness and addiction. You know, we're very good at uh, suffering in silence. Uh, we're very good at going about our own business and try to hide it because, in the uh, reality, is that's the stigma. We don't want anyone to see. Everyone that has issues don't want to show it because it's going to affect uh, affect your professional life. It's going to affect how people think of you because, reality of the matter is, people do think of you differently if you have different issues. How about your teammates? I mean, you talked about your support system, but how about your teammates, the way they rallied around you after you came out and said um, the world, you told the world what you were suffering with? No, they've been, uh, they've been amazing, uh, every single one. I've uh, gotten a lot of great, great friends on uh, my, my new team. that has been just uh, fantastic. And uh, every from day one, everyone kind of found out. And even before that, it's just incredible group of people. And... Yeah, in that locker room, and not just in the locker room, the whole organization. Did you, you called it a risk to come out on your own and do, do what you did. Did you envision support when you make when you decided to do this? Did you think you would get support? Was any of it surprising? No, no. I mean, uh, I was definitely scared about uh, how everything's going to be. It was definitely a risk. Uh, still, is a risk. Uh, it's going to affect me uh, for a long time. Uh, and uh, I have no regrets uh, in that aspect, but uh, again, the support I couldn't imagine be this uh, this big, especially from the fan base of Long Island, which is a very special fan base. Can you put in perspective from last year to now this year, you're up there and you win the Jennings Award with Thomas and the best tandem by two goalies, um, just what you guys accomplished? No, I mean, it's been an incredible uh, year playing with Thomas. Uh, we. Uh, we had a fantastic season, uh, our whole team, and uh, Genesis is uh, and Thomas uh, uh, on the same page as a team award. It's uh, everyone buying in, everyone doing the extra things, and uh, it's as much uh, all the players award as uh, it is me and Thomas.